My name is Roger Schwinghammer. I'm King Winter the 53rd and Vice President of the Alumni Association. Thank you for coming today. Welcome to the Wellstone Center, the site for our St. Paul Winter Carnival 2015 Senior Coronation. In this, our final year of the partnership with the St. Paul Park and Recs Department, the Senior Alumni Association present to you this year's coronation. The theme of the year's coronation is Stars of the Northland. In addition to the Stars of the Northland theme, the Senior Royalty Coronation also draws on the theme of history, volunteerism, and dedication to the spirit of the Winter Carnival. The St. Paul Winter Carnival Royalty Alumni Association is dedicated to preserving the 57-year history of the senior citizen participation in the coolest celebration on earth. The St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty is an important part of the carnival legend as the seniors bring wisdom and goodwill to the citizens of the Northland. Our MC for this event has become a familiar face as the, at all these events. He has a long history with Winter Carnival. As a member of the King's Guard in 1970, Captain of the King's Guard in 1977, and Commander of the King's Guard in 1979-1980. In 1981, he was Prime Minister for the Royal Family. In 2009, he received the Sal Libido Award for volunteerism with the Winter Carnival. And for the past, few, past, past several years, he has been a familiar face and voice of the Senior Royalty Coronation, for which we are most, most grateful. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the MC for today's event, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Larson. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. Good afternoon, one and all, and thank you for that warm welcome. But don't make it too warm. This is the Winter Carnival. After all, we want to have a cool celebration with temperatures cold enough to sustain the ice carvings and snow sculptures. As you know, the Winter Carnival has a long and storied tradition of over 128 years. The senior royalty began their tradition over 57 years ago. The Senior Royalty Program has come a long way from its humble beginnings in the 1950s. The modern-day Senior Royal Court participates in parades, makes appearances at schools, senior residences, public events, entertains at care centers and senior clubs, and has face-to-face -face contact with thousands of people, young and old. In fact, the 2014 Court participated in 26 parades and 55 appearances, mingling during their year with thousands of people. King Boreas, the ruler of the Winter Carnival and overseer of all winds in the territory they cover, relies upon his senior ruler to help oversee this vast domain. Please welcome the reigning senior rulers of the realm of Boreas. Please rise. King Winter the 56th, Greg Pluff, and Queen of the Northlands, Jerry Schultz.
They are accompanied by Prime Minister Mary Lou Vining-Berg. The lady in waiting, Katie Fulmer. And the Princess of the Four Winds, Cindy Thresher. Now it is our time to welcome the 2014 King Boreas and a beautiful Aurora, Queen of Snows, and their royal family. They will be formally introduced later in the program. King Winter has continued the time-honored tradition of sending loyal senior alumni subjects in search of worthy successors to the throne. At this time, His Majesty would like to present these hopeful successors. Please be seated as we welcome our candidates. Lady Celeste Gagliardi, escorted by Sir Tim Gagliardi. The oldest of seven in her family, Celeste and her family members, including nieces and nephews, are all involved in Winter Carnival. She was eight years old when her dad took her to her first Winter Carnival parade. In 1984, she performed at the parade and was knighted clown number one to King Boreas the 51st. Celeste enjoys sewing costumes, playing guitar, singing, playing cards, crocheting, and of course, clowning. Lady Celeste Gagliardi. Lady Joanne Johnson, escorted by Sir David Forsell. Joanne had been a teacher's assistant, an administrative assistant, and a customer service representative. She is currently semi-retired. She enjoyed volunteering at area hospitals. In her spare time, Joanne plays tennis and cards, enjoys gardening, listening to music, taking walks, and socializing. Lady Joanne Johnson.
Sir Lou Michaels escorted by Lady Tamara Michaels. Lou has been a photographer for over 50 years. He is a past Grand Master of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows of Minnesota and is currently president of the North Suburban St. Paul Kiwanis. He was the St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty Prime Minister in 2010 and 2013 and was the 2012 Minneapolis Aquatennial Vice Commander. Lou's interests include photography, ham radio, traveling, collecting coins and stamps, live theater, and jazz. Sir Lou Michael. Lady Barbara Nash, escorted by Sir Hugo Sanchez. Barbara is self-employed as a graphic designer, wedding planner, and wedding officiant. Barbara has many interests, including singing with the Ladies of Elegance, designing, airbrushing, horses, dancing, hosting speed dating events for all ages, homeschooling her grandchild, and vacationing in South Beach and Miami. She enjoys watching her grandchildren play hockey. Lady Barbara Nash. Lady Lee Shovel, escorted by Sir Adam Shovel. Lee served her country during Vietnam in Army Intelligence Services. She has owned businesses and has worked in executive management for several companies. More importantly, Lee has a son, a daughter, a grandson, and another grandson under development. Lee enjoys entertaining and singing. Lee was the 2013 St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty Lady-in-Waiting and is currently Secretary of the St. Paul Senior Royalty Alumni Association. Lee is also a volunteer for Operation Glass Slipper, Lady Lee Shovel. Lady Fran Sorensen, escorted by Sir Brad Hinseth. Fran has been an elementary teacher for 22 years in Illinois, a substitute teacher for the past seven years, and an interim preschool director for seven months. She is an artist in many medias, painting, photography, and fabric creations. Fran is a curler in St. Paul and Blaine. She enjoys singing in her church choir and is on the church council. Fran volunteers for Feed My Starving Children and for Meals on Wheels. She was the Hot Foot Stomper Dance Queen in 2007-2008. Lady Gray Smith, escorted by Sir Matthew Smith. Gray's worked at Target in customer services for 19 years and is now retired. Grace is a proud mother of seven children. She enjoyed going to bingo, attending her children and grandchildren sporting events, visiting people, doing puzzles, learning about the American Indian culture, and participating in activities in the American Indian community. Grace has volunteered on the board of the American Indian community, including organizations for elders and domestic abuse victims. She has also volunteered at the St. Paul Public Schools Indian Education Program and at her grandchildren's sporting events. Candidate Lady Marilyn Smith-Taylor, escorted by husband and candidate Sir Willie Taylor, Sr. Marilyn has, a recep Marilyn has been a receptionist for the David Magitz Insurance Agency, as well as the office manager for Estes Funeral Chapel, office manager for domestic violence in the African-American community, youth work coordinator for the Minneapolis Public Schools, and an associate manager at Prudential Insurance. Her accomplishments include ABC ordained minister, master's degree in youth and family ministry, and a 2011 stroke survivor. 
She had volunteered at the Sabathan Chapter AARP and the state AARP officers. She is on the FMBC Deacon Nursing Home Visitation Team and Prayer Ministry Team and is a member of several choirs. Marilyn and Willie jointly have eight children, 16 grandchildren, and four great-grandchildren. Willie Taylor Sr. retired from General Motors after 27 years. He and Marilyn are originally from Louisiana, relocated to Minneapolis after serving in the U.S. Navy. He has a love for singing and sings with his church choirs at the Fellowship Mission Missionary Baptist Church. He is a member of numerous choirs. From 1995 to 2000, he sang with the Apollo Male Chorus and this year sang with the Penumbra Black Nativities Choir Ensemble. Willie is an avid golfer and a keen bowler, having bowled two perfect 300 games in 1997 and 2013. Both Willie and Marilyn are also election judges. And now let us welcome this year's royal gift bearers. Would the juniors from the realm of Boreas please come forward with the trappings and regalia befitting a coronation. We welcome Maya Johnson. She is the Princess of Snow. The Princess of Ice, Sydney Bebo. And the Queen of the Snowflakes, Nicole Rona. please stand. Let us now honor our country as the Humboldt High Junior ROTC Color Guard under the direction of Lieutenant Colonel Johnson presents our flags.
And we would also like to thank the humble choir under the direction of Barbara Lawrence Windholtz and the assistant principal, Steve Isles, in that beautiful rendition of our national anthem. Joining us today from the winter playgrounds of the realm of Boreas are distinguished stars of the Northland who are seated in the audience. Would you please rise and be recognized as your name or group is announced and please be seated at this time. From the St. Paul City Council representing Ward 6, Council Member Dan Bostrom. Dan has been at, at probably all of these coronations as long as I can remember and he represents his district well and thank you Dan for attending and if there are any other city council members which whom I may have overlooked please stand also. Thank you. We'd like to thank the St. Paul Division or Department of Parks and Recreation for permitting us uh, to use this space here and for all the support they've given this coronation in the past years and I'd like to thank Belinda Bergstrom who was here this year and is uh, adding a lot of behind-the-scenes support and encouragement for the uh, coronation today. From the St. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation, proud producers of the 2015 St. Paul Winter Carnival, please welcome President and CEO Roseanne Bump, Board of Directors Chairman Joe Glass, and Carnival Planning Committee Chair Jennifer Tamburo. And also St. Paul. Okay. And also the St. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation members, Melissa Moser and Chris Emerson, and I know they're here someplace. There they are in the back. Thank you again. And our distinguished panel of judges are present to confirm their selection of our new monarchs. Please join me in thanking the judges, Carolyn Blakey. Mike Miranda, Pam Phillips, Ted Nottis, Chief Judge Kathy Wendy, and alternates Anita McCauley and Eunice Roberts. Incidentally, Carolyn Blakey is the new 2015 Prime Minister to the Court of Boreas. Many illustrious reigning courts have also arrived to witness these royal proceedings. Let this assemblage pay tribute to these dignitaries. Our neighboring city of Minneapolis pays honor to the royal court by sending their aquatennial senior royalty. Please welcome senior commodore Bob Marabella and senior queen Marianne Safi. <laughs> They are accompanied by Senior Vice Commodore Alan Johnson and Senior Princess Judy Johnson. <laughs> Seated in our star-studded sparkle section are royalty from various St. Paul neighborhood festivals. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. As mentioned earlier, the theme for today's event centers around the history, volunteerism, and dedication to Winter Carnival. The St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty could not exist without the loyal dedication of the Senior Royalty Alumni Association members. Many of them are in the audience today. We ask that all former Senior Royalty Court members please stand and be recognized. <laughs> We extend our sincere thanks and appreciation to all senior royalty alumni members. Now let us take a moment to remember those members of the senior royalty who have passed away this year. Marie Califish, the lady in waiting in 1985 and the 1987 Queen of the Northlands. And also Dennis Solstrom, 2000 Prince of the Four Winds. Now to add sparkle to this annual event, we are delighted to bring you some remarkable entertainment. This group was formed in 1987 under the direction of Ruth Bakken, who was a former New York City Rockette. Ruth is no longer with us, but her legacy lives on. It is an honor to bring you this group of exciting, sassy women 
who have a repertoire of over 50 routines ranging from Broadway musicals to choreographed dances to high-impact dancing. Please welcome the Rhinestone Rockets. Stone Rockettes, been entertaining audiences in the metro area for decades. Uh, Ruth Bakken was the owner of the Adair Studios for 30 years, and actually our celebrity member was Clara DeRocha, and she was a New York Rockette even before they built Radio City Music Hall. Um, I do want to introduce our current dance instructor. She's present with us today, and her name is Stephanie Stockstead. If you would rise and just wave to the crowd. Thanks so much. Thank you. And our Rockettes will come out and do another number for you. And they've got an encore a little later on in the program, so don't leave early.
Stone Rockets. Thank you again, and they'll be back later on in the program to do another fine performance for you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I would like to introduce His Excellency, the Prime Minister to the Royal Court of Boreas Rex in the St. Paul Winter Carnival. From the Royal House of the Apple River Family Campgrounds, His Excellency, Sir Tim Simpla. What an honor it is to be uh, having Dave Larson here, past Prime Minister, 1981, being your MC today. A fun fact that will interest nobody but me, the year that he was Prime Minister, his Boreas was Dick Schock, and Dick Schock's son married my sister, so isn't that not interesting? Uh, another little fun fact, Mary Lou Vining, I, I don't like to play favorites with the seniors, but I hope they understand that Mary Lou Vining is my favorite this year, because she was my elementary school librarian slash lunch ticket taker. And as I've joked about all year, she will go to no ends to get that overdue book back. Uh, I, did, I don't want to step on the new Prime Minister's toes, uh, Karen, Prime Minister 2015, but we also have the new 2015 North uh, Prince of the East Wind over here wearing purple. He is Dave Metternock, so you'll be seeing him around a lot next year. <laughs> So we've had a great time with our seniors this year. Uh, one great, great thing about hanging out with the senior royalty, and I think in most seniors, is that they do not fit the stereotype of a senior in any way, shape, or form. They may be a senior by age, but that's it. They are a hoot. And when we got to go with them, I think it was in Cambridge. Was that the parade you rode with us on? No, was it the Cambridge parade or the Nor uh, Anoka parade? They got to ride with us on the Anoka float. And that was such a fun day because we got to ride with them on the float. So they just, they had a hoot, and we had an even bigger hoot. So thank you for being so fun this year. Uh, now. Enough of my talking. I'd like to introduce to you our, 20, our 2014 St. Paul Winter Carnival Royal Family. First up, coming into the room, we have our East Wind Guard. He's also serving as our Pillow Guard. He is from the Royal House of Quality Insurance Service and Northern Prairie Financial. He is Dwayne Dewey Tesmer. <laughs> Blustery Northwind. He is hopefully going to be a Titan after his Northwind dinner in two weeks, but we never know. He is from the Royal House of Lethert, Square, and Schultz CPA and the Bungalow of Lakeland. He is Leo Urich. <laughs> With him is our Northwind Princess. We call her Blizzard. She is from the Royal House of Canes Catering. She is Elizabeth Carlson. <laughs> our beast from the east, the irresponsible east wind, always a crowd favorite. He is from the Royal House of Opus Development, Financial Concepts, and Party Time Liquor. He is Chuck Bethel. With him is our wild, wild, wild west wind princess, she is from the Royal House of Hammernicks Decorating. Let's give a big yee-haw to Abby Messi. <laughs> now we have our balmy Southwind Notos, who's been feeling very at home lately with the nice warm temperatures. He is from the Royal House of Hope and Opportunities Incorporated and Fury Motors. Let's hear it for Mark Bierman. With him is our sassy hot tamale of a Southwind princess. She is from the Royal House of Jimmy's Food and Drink of Vadness Heights. She is Ashley Galloway. Away, away. And we are doubly lucky today to have our coves. No, we have our mistresses of merriment, our sirens of song. We have both Klondike Kate 2013, Anita Mack, and Klondike Kate 2014, Kathy Rustin. And now, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the one true king of the St. Paul Winter Carnival, 
no matter what the Vulcans say, I know there's a couple of them here, he's, he is the true king of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. He is from the Royal House of FFP Wealth Management. He is King Boreas Rex, the 78th, Roger Cruz. Well, greetings uh, to one and all. Uh, we're really excited to be here at the Paul and Sheila Wellstone uh, er, Center. Uh, this is the second time we've been here, uh, earlier for the uh, junior coronation and now for the senior coronation, and how wonderful it is to be here in a center as important as can be for St. Paul to do something this important for St. Paul. So it's a great pair up, and I hope this continues for many years. Um, I appreciate, um, I think it's just a good time for me to segue right to introducing my queen. I give, it's a great honor for me now to introduce to you Aurora, Queen of the Snows, from the Royal House of Ideal Printers, Abby Hoagland. Well, I'd like to start by recognizing the people who took a lot of time and energy, and it sounds like many, many months, to put on this beautiful coronation. So if you had any part in setting this day up, if you wouldn't mind standing. And if we can give them a big round of applause, because it's clear they took a lot of time. So we're obviously here today to crown um, some new senior royalty, but also congratulate the 2014 senior royalty on a year well done. We have really enjoyed our time with them. Um, every parade that we had when they were able to join us was just that much better because they could be there. They were there for hugs and smiles, and we had a lot of really great conversations this year. And I will always cherish the times that we got to ride on the float together, especially at the end of the year. So congratulations. You can't see me, but I know you're back there. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you, Queen. She was just inducted into the former Queen's Association on a Sunday at the Queen's Tea, so congratulations, Queenie. Uh, what we'd like to do at events like this is welcome individuals into the realm of Boreas, so if the following people could please come up on stage. Peggy Anfang, Roger Schwinghammer, Lee Shovel, Jackie Whitner, Frank Gurney, Mars Milar Milnarchik, Ingeborg Ritt, Co Colleen Charles, Gwendolyn Jefferson, and Dorothy Franzen. Please come up on the stage. Sorry. They've learned not to give me a battery-powered mic because I usually suck the energy right out of them. So, Boris, if you have any, would you like to make any sort of declaration here? We are going to have uh, Dewey kneel on behalf of all of you, and if you could reach forward and touch the pillow or someone close to the pillow, and you will find the power of the pillow. <laughs> Frank, Frank's feeling it. We, Boreas Rex, King of the Winter Carnival, in token of our esteem and are imposing the utmost confidence in your ability to do honor to this illustrious position, do hereby appoint. Peggy Anfang, Roger Schwinghammer, Lee Shovel, Jackie Whitner, G Frank Gurney, Marcy Milnarki, Milnarchik, thank you, Milnarchik, Ingeborg Ritt, Colleen Charles, Gwendolyn Jefferson, and Dorothy Franzen. Members of the SRAA board, we say, hail to you for the work that you do. Your work does not go unnoticed, and we appreciate you, too. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! 
to have and to hold the said office with all the rights, responsibilities, appurtenances, and hereditaments thereto belonging or by any wise appertaining during the full term of our reign. In testimony whereof, we have hereunto set our hand and caused the great seal of our dominion to be affixed in the city of St. Paul, Minnesota, our right royal winter capital, on this 20th day of January, just two days until carnival starts, in the year of our Lord, 2015, signed Roger C. Cruz, Boreas Rex the 78th. All right, thank you, board members. If you could please take your seat. Thank you very much for all that you do for the seniors. Now we would like to call up the outgoing senior royalty, please front and center. In case you're wondering, we knighted them previously at an ambassador social, so they only get one a year. We just have a small gift for each one of you. Uh, you know, we knighted you earlier in the year, but we didn't want to fail to recognize you in some way, so we have a little gift for your outgoing time. Thank you, Senior Royalty, very much. Now, if you could take your seats, please. Now, I've said this about 100 times this year, my year, I am at the beck and call of King Boreas and the Queen constantly. I've got a pager, and it never stops going off. And they said today, Prime, we are definitely going to want some entertainment. And we, in fact, we want double the entertainment. It's the end of the year. They want double the entertainment. So, Klondike Kate 13 and 14, could you please come up and regale us with a song? Thank you so much. All right. Shall we? Mm -hmm. All right. If you're fond of snowflakes and frosty air, quaint little ice sculptures here and there, you're sure to fall in love with old St. Paul. If you like the taste of some wild rice soup, served by a window with a rice park view, you should have fallen in love with old St. Paul. Snowy roads that seem to beckon you, sparkling white beneath the sky of blue. Cathedral bells chiming on a Sunday morn make you so glad that you were born. 
If you come to Carnival, you'll want to stay. The Klondike Kate's had it planned that way. You should have fall in love with old St. Paul. Taking all the sights at our festival. Our royalty is the best of all. You should have fall in love with old St. Paul. Ride a fire truck with the Vulcan crew. Stop at a pub for a nice cold brew. You should have fall in love with old St. Paul. Royal guards protect the king and queen. Prime winds and princesses are on the scene. The Vulcans are coming to bring the heat. Blazing torches fill the streets. When you come to Carnival, you'll want to stay. The Klondike Kate's had it planned that way. You should have fall in love with old St. Paul. You should have fall in love with old St. Paul. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to ask, for once I get to tell Prime what to do, the royal family, if you'd like to have a seat, and then we have a real treat for all of you. We have had such a fabulous year with this wonderful group of senior royalty. They have found a very, very special place in all of our hearts. And what I'm really hoping for this next person I'm going to introduce is that she gets a senior crew as only half as good as mine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pride to introduce a friend, Klondike Kate 2015, Shelly Brown. <laughs> Nice introduction, Kathy. You want to sing? Absolutely. All right. We can't give you anything but love, baby. That's the only thing I plenty of, baby. Dream a while, scheme a while. You're sure to find happiness, and I guess. All the things you've always pined for. Gee, I'd like to see you looking swell. Baby, diamond cufflinks, walrus doesn't sell. Baby, till that lucky day, you know darn well. Now Shelly will regale the new candidates. The new candidates. You know, I have something in common with a lot of the people in this audience. As of my last birthday, I am officially allowed to get the senior discount at a lot of stores I shop at and eat off of the senior menu at Perkins. <laughs> so, in honor of all that, my friends at my birthday party sang a little song for me, and I found it both amusing and a little motivational so that I shouldn't sit on my butt and just go into retirement. So here we go. 
You've worked and worked for years and years. You're always on the go. You never take a moment off, too busy making dough. You say someday you'll take a break when you're a millionaire. Imagine all the fun you'll have in some old rocking chair. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. Enjoy yourself. Well, you're still in the pink. The years go by as quickly as a wink. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. Thank you, Shelley. Well, I told you that these folks here found a very special place in our hearts. But King Winter, oh my goodness, this man, he stole my heart away completely. How lucky can one cape be? He kissed me and I kissed him. Like the sailor once said, ain't that a kick in the head? The room went completely black. I hugged him and he hugged back. Like the sailor said, quote, ain't that a hole in the boat? My head is spinning. I go to sleep and keep grinning. If this is just the beginning, my life is gonna be beautiful. He's telling me we'll be wed. So I picked out a king-size bed. Tell me quick, ain't love a kick? Tell me quick, ain't love a kick? Tell me quick, ain't love a kick in the head? Thank you all very, very much. Roger, the show is yours. Thank you very much, Kate, for that outstanding entertainment, and we'll see you during Winter Carnival. We'd also like to thank Boreas and Aurora there for coming to the coronation today, and thank you for the time you've taken this past year to share so many of the stories of the enjoyment of Winter Carnival in St. Paul. The reign of King Winter the 56th in his court will soon come to an end. They have prepared a farewell message. Will the senior royalty court please stand? What a year. It's really hard to believe that it's coming to an end. And I didn't say finally. <laughs> we have had a wonderful time, full of parades, appearances, and spreading joy and happiness. We are five very different individuals with different personalities. But we came together and became almost like family. We will remember this year for the rest of our lives. Uh, during the first two parades, the Grand Day Parade and the Torchlight Parade, we had the distinct honor of riding in a horse-drawn carriage. Boy, but was it cold. Oh, But it's never too gold for the Winter Carnival, right? Right. Uh, our theme was the Fabulous Five Forever Young. Seniors rock became our mantra. We told the story of, um, well, anyway, after, after we said seniors rock on the parade routes, we'd get a lot of, you betches, and way to go seniors, and we love you guys. So that became really fun for us. Um, we told the story of the legend of Boreas and his four brothers during our appearances at the senior citizen centers or our nursing homes or the schools, we greeted all who attended individually and talked with them. We sang songs which everyone knew and loved. Being part of the 2014 court 
was not about us. It was all about the St. Paul Winter Carnival. It was about the special memories we will cherish being part of the Winter Carnival royalty and the, king, and the special bond we had with the King Boreas Court, the Vulcans, Klondike Kate, as you could tell, and the Junior Royalty. We had a really special bond, as I said, with the Boreas Court and attended some very wonderful parties at some, of the, at some of the royal homes. We had the royal guard, we went to the king's home, we went to the East Wind's home. Woohoo, hoo hoo uh, yeah. <laughs> I will never forget the ice bucket challenge between the royal guards and the Vulcans and the princesses. I would like to thank each member of the court for their dedication and in contributing their time and talent to make sure that uh, this year was one we will always remember. Now, Queen Jerry and I would like to take a minute to talk about each member of the 2014 court. I need to take it away from the best speaker we have, but she doesn't want to talk about herself. What a gal. What a grand lady. What a fabulous prime minister. She beat you out a little bit, Tim. <laughs> what an excellent speaker. How extremely fortunate the Fabulous Five was to have you speak for our court. She was the first prime minister for the 56 years of the senior court. She, ha she has an infectious laugh that everyone recognizes. She always seems to know someone in the rows of the spectators at our parades, and she is the only woman that we know that doesn't need a microphone. <laughs> I thank you so much, Mary Lou, and I love you. Thank you. No crown. That's right, my hand. I'll lose my crown on that. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Jerry. Um, now I would like to talk about King Winter, the 56th Greg Clough. Greg, you were the only male person on the court surrounded by four females. That, in itself, was quite a feat. You conducted yourself with kingly stature and made the knightings unique and special for all. The kids and adults alike loved your balloon apples and animals and your bead animals. Cindy wants to know if you got your sandwich yet. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, Queen of the Northlands, Jerry Schulz. Jerry, you were the glue that held all of us together. You set up all the parades with all the paperwork that entailed. You got us there on time and always, always looked like the queen you were. Wow, what a job you did. And the hugs, the hugs and the hugs. Sorry. Jerry, you were the hugging queen. Will you ever forget the saga of your keys on the front seat of your locked car? Oh, will you ever forget the young man that came along and took his time and he got those keys out? Thank you so much for all your hard work that you put in. It's very much appreciated. Lady in waiting, Katie Fulmer. Katie, you were responsible for getting us transportation in the form of convertibles for our many parades. You worked with Fury Motors, Marvin, Mark Chapel, and Judy Schluckabeer for the convertibles, and worked diligently getting the drivers for these convertibles. I'd like to also thank your daughters, Michelle and Christina, Cindy's sister, Candy, and my sister, Judy, and Lupe for driving in our parades. We couldn't have done it without all these volunteers. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, Katie, have you found your monkey yet? <laughs> that, 
That's kind of an inside joke. Um, Princess of the Four Winds, Cindy, Cindy Thrasher. Cindy, what a joy you were to have on the court. You never knew, we never knew, what outfit you'd have on or what kind of hair you'd come up with. The costumes for the various appearances were unique and awesome. You had the certificates for the nightings done in fine handwriting. You were always coming up with unique sunglasses or gloves. You never forgot a holiday with wonderful gifts and cards for all of us. You were our historian and picture taker for most of our appearances. And the scrapbook you're putting together will be treasured by all of us. Cindy, you were always the last one to arrive, like the east wind, <laughs> but certainly worth waiting for. <laughs> Thank you so much. Finally, the 2000, we the 2014 court would like to thank the St. Paul Parks and Recreation Department for sponsoring us again this year. We, and especially to Belinda Bergstrom for all your help. We were five people that had never done this before. We had no idea what we were doing. And somehow or another, Belinda pulled us together and got it going. I mean, we did get it going. But without your help, we would have been floundering. We also want to thank the Senior Royalty Alumni Association. They will be taking over the sponsorship of the 2015 court, and I know they will do a fabulous job. I want to especially thank Jackie Whitner for her design of my hat. I had so much fun with this hat, and I'm not giving it up either. Thank you. As the spokesperson for the 2014 court, thank you for letting us represent the seniors of the city of St. Paul. We hope we made a favorable impression on all who saw us at our parades and at our appearances. We enjoyed every minute of it and are sad to see it come to an end. In conclusion, the new 2015 court will be crowned in a few minutes. Congratulations to all of you. We, you will enjoy the year and embrace it with all your heart. This is the coolest celebration on earth. Thank you. A warm thank you to the 2014 Senior Royal Court for their years of service and your dedication to the spirit of Carnival. Each of you will forever be honored and remembered as members of the 2014 Senior Royal Court. Many thanks from all of us. This court is fully prepared for the crowning of our new monarchs. Therefore, candidates, please rise and take your positions. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to select our 2015 royalty. Here to act as the Lord High Chamberlain to the court is the leader of the peacekeeping officers in the northern realm of winter. Please join me in welcoming the city of St. Paul's Chief of Police, Sir Tom Smith. Chief Smith resides on St. Paul's west side with his wife and family. He has a special compassion for the neighborhood in which he was raised. He is a graduate of Humboldt High School and is a strong supporter and board member at the neighborhood house and also volunteers at the Boys and Girls Club on the west side. Chief Smith will now assist us in the selection of our new royal family. 
royal ambassadors and alumni who have searched the seven hills for worthy candidates. Would the Chief Judge Kathy Wente please bring forth the royal scrolls to the Lord Chamberlain of the Court. Chief Smith, you will receive and read the first degree proclaiming the 2015 King Winter the 57th. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Citizens of the Northland, the Royal Court of Honorable Judges, appointed by the Senior Royalty Alumni Association, hereby decree Lou Michaels, King Winter, the 57th of the 2015 Senior Royalty Court. We bestow upon King Winter all the rights, responsibilities, dignity, and delights of the rain being this date, January 20th, 2015. Sir Lou Michaels. Chief Smith, please receive and read the next scroll proclaiming the 2015 Prime Minister for the St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Citizens of the Northland, the Royal Court of Honorable Judges, appointed by the Senior Royalty Alumni Association, hereby decree Barbara Nash, Prime Minister of the 2015 Senior Royalty Court. We bestow upon the Prime Minister all the rights, responsibilities, dignity, and delights of the reign beginning this date, January 20th, 2015. Prime Minister Barbara Nash. Lord Chamberlain of the Court, Chief Smith, please receive and read the decree proclaiming the 2015 Prince of the Four Winds. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Citizens of the Northland, the Royal Court of Honorable Judges, appointed by the Senior Royalty Alumni Association, hereby decree Willie Taylor Sr., 
Prince of the Four Winds of the 2015 Senior Royalty Court. We bestow upon the Prince of the Four Winds all the rights, responsibilities, dignity, and delights of the reign beginning this date, January 20th, 2015. Fifteen Prince of the Four Winds, Willie Smith Sr. Now we are part of the 2014 court, 15 courts selected. We need a princess, a lady in waiting, and a queen to complete the court. Lord Chamberlain of the Court, Chief Smith, we will return to the traditions of the past and choose the remaining candidates beginning with the Princess of the Four Winds. So fulfill your royal duty and receive and read the decree proclaiming the Princess of the Four Winds for 2015. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Citizens of the Northland, the Royal Court of Honorable Judges, appointed by the Senior Royalty Alumni Association, hereby decree Grace Smith, Princess of the Four Winds of the 2015 Senior Royalty Court. We bestow upon the Princess of the Four Winds all the rights, responsibilities, dignity, and delights of the reign beginning this date, January 20th, 2015. The 2015 Princess of the Four Winds for 2015, Grace Smith. Smith. <laughs> It is time to select the lady in waiting for 2015. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Citizens of the Northland. The Royal Court of Honorable Judges, appointed by the Senior Royalty Alumni Association, hereby decree Marilyn Taylor, Lady in Waiting of the 2015 Senior Royalty Court. We bestow upon the Lady in Waiting all the rights, responsibilities, dignity, and delights of the reign beginning this date, January 20th, 2015. Chief Smith, King Winter the 57th is eager to meet his new queen. Please receive and read the royal decree proclaiming the 2015 Queen of the Northlands. Are we ready? <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Hear ye, citizens of the Northland, the Royal Court of Honorable Judges, appointed by the Senior Royalty Alumni Association, hereby decree Lee Shovel, Queen of the Northlands of the 2015 Senior Royalty Court. We bestow upon the Queen of the Northlands all the rights, responsibilities, dignity, and delights of the reign beginning this date, January 20th, 
2015. Queen of the Northlands, Lee Shovel. As their first royal act, King Winter the 57th and the Queen of the Northlands have decreed that all remaining candidates become their special ambassadors to help spread the royal messages throughout the kingdom. Would the faithful ambassadors come forward and pay tribute to the new royal court? Ladies and gentlemen, please join me again in congratulating our senior royalty for 2015. seated please here to be the first royalty to present gifts to the new royal court the loyal and royal junior royalty once again please welcome Maya Johnson Sidney Bebo and Nicole Rona Ladies and gentlemen, the royal court is now complete, and today's senior royalty event has come to a close. Before concluding today's coronation, please join me in thanking the following. Sue Nelson providing that wonderful music today. <clears throat> Police Chief Tom Smith as a Lord High Chamberlain, thank you again. Pages Lorraine Venice and Laurie McGee, who for many years have uh, performed their skills on this stage. Thank you again. The Humboldt High School Junior ROTC and the Humboldt Choir. Thank you also.
and St. Paul Neighborhood Network. Thank you for televising this uh, ceremony today. And I personally would like to thank all the Senior Riley alumni who put on this tremendous uh, pageant today. I know it's been a lot of hard work. You've really put together your act again, and thank you so much for the wonderful job you all did. King Winter the 57th had decreed that the royal photographer be allowed on stage to take the official photographs of the new royal court and the honored guests. Audience members may take photos as well, well, but please allow the official photographs to be taken first. After the royal photographs have been taken, there will be time for those who would like to take pictures, so have your cameras ready. During this time, complimentary refreshments will be served by the staff of the Pathways in the Park over to my right. The Winter Carnival Senior Coronation will be broadcast on St. Paul Neighborhood Network Cable 19 in St. Paul. Please check your website or your program for further information. Thank you one and all for attending the 2015 St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royal Day Coronation and have a wonderful evening as you enjoy the coolest celebration on earth. <laughs>